I like playing piano and every time I want to relax or when I'm overstressed, I like sitting on my keyboard and play something cool. So I've been thinking that it would be really nice if I build a robot that can play piano the way I do, right? However, the challenge is that building a robot that can play as smooth as we humans do, it's very difficult and it requires a lot of engineering skills, especially mechanical engineering skills. But I still wanted to try. So, the first thing I did was to open my Fusion 360 software. And then I created a new file to start designing the robot. I began to design the first prototype of the fingers to see how they would move while playing the keyboard. And it is just to mention that I first sketched it on my notebook before using a CAD software. And I decided to use Fusion 360 instead of SOLIDWORKS because I think it's much easier to work with it. I have to confess that I was having a lot of issues with the design. And it wasn't something I did in just one day. It took weeks to come up with the very first prototype. At first it was difficult, but I'm happy that I got to come up with something. When I felt I was satisfied with the design, I then decided to start 3D printing the first prototype using my Ender V2 3D printer, which is really great and easy to operate. I first 3D printed one finger, I mean all the parts I needed for building the finger motion system, right? And it took me a while to finish 3D printing the parts because I was facing some issues with the bed leveling and the nozzle I was using was not the right one, so I had to change it. But I'm happy that I got to 3D print all the parts and I'm ready to test the first prototype. Using some screws, I started assembling the first prototype that will allow the robot finger to move up and down using a servo motor. I also added one servo motor to make it turn 45 degrees to the left and right. Well, the first prototype seems to work, but will it be able to press the keys on the keyboard? Let's find out. Well, after testing the first prototype on the keyboard, I realized that my assumptions about the design and the calculations I did about the kind of servo motors were wrong. And but I needed to change the whole design and check for new motors, you know, with different characteristics. So that's what I did. I began to change the design and make some improvements on it. The first prototype was not strong enough to press the keys on the keyboard, not only because of the type of motor I used to do the test, right? But the design was also unstable and weak, like it was vibrating a lot every time it presses the key. So I hope this new design will make me happy. And after a long time trying to improve the design, I finally got to come up with this design here. And I decided to add a 3D model of the kind of keyboard I have, just to see how the robot would fit on the keyboard. Because I didn't want to make something so big, right? 
the goal is to make a robot that can sit on any desk and ready to play the keyboard. And voila, the design is completely finished and ready to be 3D printed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, I present to you Genesis 1.0, a robot that is able to play piano like humans do. Well, the mechanical part of this project was really challenging and it took us way longer than we expected. And well, as I'm um, intellectual engineering, you know, and programming, so I invited one of my friends to, you know, to work with me in this project since he's into robotics. And here we are, celebrating this great achievement. And we are really, really happy with the results we got so far. Enough of celebrations for now, back to work. So, we have finished the design. However, I needed to make it work, at least to program the robot to play some, you know, simple notes on the keyboard. Therefore, there was a need for the robot to have, you know, a kind of brain for it to process these informations. So I began to work on a circuit board for it. But I first built two circuits, one using a very simple microcontroller, in this case an Arduino Nano, and another one using a Raspberry Pi Pico, since two of these microcontrollers can be programmed using either C++ or Python. Well, as a microcontroller needs to be programmed, so I wrote a simple code for it to test the robot and see how well it can perform. And here it is, playing its first note on the keyboard. I guess it's working pretty well so far. Now let's make it play something a bit difficult. I would say I'm very happy with these results, except for the noise that the servos are making. You know, it's very annoying, but for now, let's leave it like that. Okay, let's see, I hope it works. Wow! <laughs> wow! That's working so nice. Wow! This is just a very simple test of the hands and fingers. Now, the challenge is to make it play its first song, right? Like, with both hands together playing a nice song. But I think for today it's enough. Let's leave it for another day. 